Hey everybody, today I did this look for you. I mainly used my Urban Decay Deluxe palette and it's just a very, very super simple um, neutral smoky eye on top with a pop of a bright color on the lower lashes and the rest of the face I just kept fairly neutral. So if you want to see what I used and how I did this, then here you go. Okay, so I've already primed with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And the first shadow is called Underground. It's just like a shimmery brown color. I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. This is one dollar on um, eyeslipsface.com. Some of that on my brush. I'm going to put this on the lid. Just sweep it right across. Bring it up into your crease. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. blending brush, again one dollar, and a black shadow. I'm going to take zero from the same palette. Get some on there. Now draw a sideways V on the outer corner of your eye. There's one side. draw it on there like that. Okay. Once you have that placed, we're just going to start to blend it. So I just grabbed a little more on the brush. And I'm just going to blend very gently. You can do circular uh, motions. Blend it about halfway into your crease and also onto your upper lash line. looks really scary right now. That's okay. We are going to blend out this very harsh edge we have going on. You just want um, preferably a matte color and something just a couple shades darker than your skin. My favorite color for doing this is from the Maybelline Chai Latte Quad and as you can see I've used a lot <laughs> of this color. I love this color for doing this very thing. So just get some of that on like a really fluffy blending brush. This is from Revlon. I got it at Walmart. And blend out this harsh edge of that black. Let's go back and forth. I'm using very light pressure. Okay. Now for right underneath my brow, I'm just going to put a really light color there. I'm going to go ahead and take the brow bone color from that same quad and this is a brush that I got from CVS. Okay, just get some on there, put it right underneath your eyebrow. This is also going to help to blend out all those edges. Make everything look really nice and blended. Just check and make sure it's even with the other eye. I'm going to put on some more of that lid color. I feel like we lost some of it when we blended. Just put on some more of that underground. Blend it over into the black. I think that looks about right. Okay. Now what I'm going to do... Um, I want to give this neutral look a pop of color. As you can see, I've got some purple underneath my lashes on this eye. Use whatever color you want. I do this all the time. I use purple, blue, green, teal, anything. Whatever you think will look good. So I am going to use, um, for the base for that color, this gel liner that I got from Coastal Scents. It's just like a purple color. Just use any brush. I'm just going to use a concealer brush. I'm just dipping the tip of it in there. And just put this right on your lower lash line. Okay. I'm 
going to go right over that with the shadow. I'm going to grab an angled liner brush. I got this from Target. It's by Sonia Kashuk. Same palette. I'm going to use this dark purple called Ransom. So I'm just going to put that on right over top of that gel liner. Just gives a really pretty pop of color. Okay. One last step with the shadows. For this very inner corner, I'm going to put like a really light shimmery color there just to brighten up our eye. And this is one of the cheapest things that you'll probably ever find. It's from Sally Beauty Supply. And it's a Sally Girl shadow. These are like 99 cents. Pretty good. This one's in snow. It's just very shimmery. I'm going to take just a really tiny brush. This is another e.l.f. brush. <laughs> and it's actually a lip brush, but I use it for eyes. Just put this right in the inner corner. Okay, that's it for the eyeshadow. Now it's time for liner. And for that, I'm going to use my Revlon Color Stay. Um, liquid eye pen in black is black. It's really easy. You just draw it on just like a marker. So I'm just going to draw a thin line. Make it thinner on the inner corner and thicken it as you come out to the outer part. You can stop right there if you want. I'm going to wing it out just a little. So. Oops. In order to do that, just act like you're going to continue from your lower lash line up towards the end of your eyebrow, like this. Just make a little dash and just connect it over like that and then just fill it in. Fill it in. This is from Urban Decay. It's their 24-7 Glide on Pencil in Zero. So just very, very gently pull down and just apply this. All that's left to do now is just curl your lashes and put on some mascara. So now for the cheeks and lips. Um, I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. I'm going to use the bronzer first. This. I'm gonna also just going to use this blush. Anywhere where the sun would just naturally hit your face. You can even just kind of do this. Okay. I'm just going to use this um, Revlon Super Lustrous Gloss in Life's a Peach. It's a really light peachy color. Okay. Okay, so there is the completed look. Just really kind of smoky. Neutral colors on the top. Pop of color on the bottom. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, if you did, I would love it if you would come back and even subscribe. So I'll see you all later. Bye.